Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. For each drill bit, a technical data sheet is provided. On such a data sheet, for example, we will find the maximum weight that can be applied on the bit so that it doesn't break. So obviously, we have to be careful so that we don't strain the bit too much. This is not easy. The weight of the drill string can easily be in the range of several hundred tons. And the optimum weight we want to apply on the bit is just in the range of few tons. Today we want to see how we can control and fine tune this weight on bit so that an optimum penetration rate is achieved during our drilling operation. First of all, we need to know how heavy our drill string is. When the drill string hangs freely on the pulley in the derrick like this, we can measure the tensile force on the steel cable using a sensor attached to the dead end of the cable. The sensor tells us the actual tensile force in the steel cable. And this tensile force is proportional to the weight of the drill string and all its components. So the weight of the drill string with the bit off bottom can be evaluated. Now, when the bit is drilling on the bottom, the weight of the drill string is split up between the hook load in the derrick and the weight on bit acting on the bottom. When the string hangs freely in the borehole, the entire weight is hanging on the hook, just like this. But if we lower the drill bit on bottom, the weight on bit increases, and the hook load decreases accordingly. Let's demonstrate this in an experiment. The spring scale on the top indicates the hook load, and the kitchen scale under indicates the weight on the bit. The sum of the two weights is always the same. When we pull the string upwards, the hook load increases and the weight on bit decreases, and vice versa. So, our driller on the drilling rig always wants to know the actual hook load. For this purpose, he has a large display in his workspace. We call it the drillometer or the Martin Decker. The yellow pointer indicates the hook load, and the little red pointer indicates the reduction of the hook load, which we observe when the drill string is lowered and the weight on bit increases. So, for a proper weight on bit indication, the driller first lifts the drill string off bottom so that it hangs freely in the borehole. The yellow pointer then shows the actual hook load or string weight. The driller twists adjusts the golden wheel so that the white pointer indicates a zero weight on bit. When the drill string is now run down and the bit touches the bottom, the hook load will decrease while the white pointer will increase accordingly, indicating the weight on bit. So in this picture, as you can see, we a drill with 7 to 8 tons on bits. If you want to know more about the drilling process and other measuring devices that can be found on the drill string and the drilling rig, come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.